That's awesome, man. So while you're out there, were you able to keep up with all the fun all-star festivities? Because I know we haven't got to get to that. Man, well, you know, with that exhilarating finale on Sunday night of the all-star game. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So So I'm just going to lead off and just be completely honest. I watched the first quarter of the all-star game and then we turned it off and I just started watching Netflix because I was just like, like I was with my wife and she was like, why do people watch this? She was like, it just doesn't seem like anybody's trying. Like it just seems like a pickup game. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty much what it is. It's a glorified pickup game. And I was sitting there. I was like, wait, I was like, why do I watch this? And I was like, I think I'm more like (laughs) the more entertaining part for me. Isn't the game. It's more of like the players mic'd up the events leading up to it and all of that, because like the game itself, like it, the one good year was 2020. And I think part of that Mm -hmm. was, you know, that was the year Kobe Kobe. passed and they're kind of playing for him. They're playing a little harder. But besides that, like the majority of the time it is like very pointless. And I think the reason I'm always locked in is just for the entertainment of like the commentary and seeing Mm -hmm. how the players, sometimes there's like some rivalries and seeing how they interact together. But the the actual gameplay, it's just, I feel like it's somehow getting even worse. And yeah, I I straight up tuned out after the first quarter. I kind of like watched the highlights at the end. I saw Tatum get his 50 burger, whatever. Like that's, that's fine, you know, I guess, but (laughs) Yeah, I, that was I, I straight up tuned it out, man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. That was the easiest fifty burger in all of fifty burgers. <laughs> like you know, so uh, I want to ask you this real quick. Yeah, if you were in that All Star game, how many points could you get? <clears throat> if I was in that All Star game, if I you played in that All Star game and you got twenty five minutes with how many all those you with all those NBA All Stars, and you gave me twenty five minutes, I'm at least giving you twenty. I'm at least getting. 20. I was gonna say, I, <laughs> I, I'd go out there and get twenty. I think. I think I could go out there and get twenty in that game, dude. That's not even, the, not even me like setting sights too high. And then when you sit there and look at the ratings numbers of that All Star game uh, and, and All Star weekend in general, um, I think it, the NBA clearly has an issue with with uh, with their All Star weekend. Um, it's, 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 it's losing some luster. And I think a big reason of that is just because the engagement from players in the all-star game is, is, it's just not what it used to like, even, you know, the 2020 was great. You know, I mean, obviously players had extra motivation, um, in honor of Kobe, Mm -hmm. um, they just add the Elon Menden and the Elon Menden, but now it seems like some of that has just lost its stick. Right. And yeah, uh, it's like if the game isn't just like really close going into the end, then even with the Elon mending, it doesn't really do much. Oh, because, oh yeah. It, you know, Giannis' team up 12 going into the fourth quarter, like it didn't really matter. They already like the 2020 game was close. And so they had more of a reason to that. Plus, you know, the Kobe and the mental aspect of it. But mm-hmm. yeah, if it's if it's like a 10 or higher game, like they're just going to chalk it up. And that's kind of what we've seen the majority of years, even with the Elon mending it was the same way. Well, and the league and I was listening to Zach Lowe's podcast and league. And he was like, man, he was like, yeah, a lot of this is on the players. Cause like you saw like Luca and Jod didn't clearly didn't care. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Throughout, Neither throughout. of them have cared. They've both been in multiple all-stars and like, and they're the new young guys and like, <laughs> two of the most exciting players to watch. If you just put it in on league pass on a Wednesday night and you want to see some excitement, like it's going to be Luca and Ja. And when those two guys like clearly don't care at all, then, you know, like you've got a problem. The you've, game. you've got yeah. a problem because those are the players that people want to see in the all-star game. And so when you sit there and you look at like right. uh, ESPN did a thing and they said, Hey, who do you want mic'd up uh, during the game? And then, so everybody voted and they voted for Luca and they mic'd up Luca and then my issue is is that uh, what going back to what Zach Lowe said, Zach Lowe was like the NBA has to take this stuff serious. If you're going to have a, a a game featuring all your all stars, why are you miking up a player in the in during the game while he's on the court? Like at one point they asked, yeah. they, they were sitting there asking Luca all these questions, and uh, they were like, Luca, walk us through what you're doing right now. Luca's like, Well, I'm passing the ball right here. Like. How serious, <laughs> yeah, that. how serious can you oh, yeah. be when you've got players running yeah. up and down and the court, breathing into a damn microphone, <laughs> and you want to sit here and say, this is, go- this is supposed to be the greatest pickup game on earth? It's yeah. not. He's like, it's- he's got the ball at the top. He's like, I, I think they're going to trap the pick and roll right here. Oh, yep, they're bringing on the trap. I'm going to try to make this pass. <laughs> like, yeah, that's that's not going to work. And another part, and I, speaking of podcasts, I listen to JJ Reddick's take. I'm not sure if you've tuned into his podcast. Uh-huh. and. He was making some really good points too, basically saying like, you know, with the way the all-star game is set up, 
for one, these guys are basically like in nonstop like meetings and promotional events from Friday to Sunday, like up yep. until the game. It's not like your typical routine of like getting warmed up an hour before the game and shooting around. Like they literally have like a post Malone concert going on right before the game. <laughs> and then they reset everything. And so like, it's never going to be a real game environment. And so that with the injury aspect, like it makes it really hard to actually like, honestly, I don't know what a solution would be not even getting into like the dunk contest and all that. And we can, have thoughts on that too, if you want. But as far as like the all-star game, I don't have a solution, but it sounds like you might have something. So I'm kind of curious what your thoughts are to, how do, how do we fix this? Chance, I've got a solution. If I am Adam Silver, you know who I'm going to pick up the phone and give a call to? The MLB? <laughs> no, not the MLB. I know they have their their incentives with the with the home, home field. That's the only thing I've seen which, that would somewhat which, make sense. Which honestly, that's not that bad of an idea. Make it east versus west again, and then do uh, a home home court advantage for the uh, uh, for the finals. That might not be a bad idea. But if mm-hmm. you don't want to do anything that alters like actual uh, ramifications of, of winning the title and things of that sort, you want to do something a little bit more lighter adjustments. This is who they need mm-hmm. to call. They need to call Mister Beast. Let me tell you why they need to call Mister <laughs> Beast Chance. So. Okay. If you sit there and you think about it, Mr. Beast is the largest YouTuber on the planet, right? And you sit yeah. and you think about how the world and the, the the game is changing, the world is changing, and you look at like what gets you the most interaction into your league. It's stuff like the content that Mr. Beast does, like the whole Squid Games thing that he did. Mm-hmm. Imagine incorporating NBA All Stars in that type of environment. Um, where where you get to actually see their personalities in real time, but also in a fun, viewable thing. Now, if you sprinkle stuff like that in throughout the week, All-Star Weekend, add corporate sponsors and all these different Mr. Beast games, I think that would be more interesting. And also, we have to remember, the All-Star Weekend, the actual nuts and bolts of the weekend is probably more designed for children you know what i mean we all grew up loving all-star weekend as kids right that was a that's a big thing for for the for the younger audience all all adults care about all-star weekend has nothing to do with what goes on on the court it's actually which city it's in and all the parties that are going to be thrown right (laughs) yeah so if you could bring in somebody that the youth love like a mr beast to have them partnering have them come up and you've got Jason Tatum and Embiid and these crazy different um, environments like that Mr. Beast does or whatever. And, and then you've got them like going out and uh, what Mr. Beast's most popular video um, is, you know, doing millions of views. Uh, the one he, well, the, the most popular one, he most recent one he did, excuse me, that he put out where he, you know, you fix everybody's eyesight. Can you imagine NBA players being a part of that? You know, and the NBA going yeah. in and throwing money into that type of stuff too as well. I really think that Mr. Beast could save the NBA All-Star Weekend. That's my rant, and I'm sticking to it, and I'm in support of it. And if it happens, remember, you heard it here first. <laughs> I got to say, that's a direction I did not expect to go. On, on this yep. one, but I pulled it up. So Mr. Beast has 135 million subscribers on YouTube. So we'll definitely gain an audience. So in this situation, would there still be an all-star game? Or would it just be replaced by a lot of like mini games and events and stuff like that? Man, you still do an all-star game. You still do an all-star game um, uh, just because of the historical thing of it. And you just let Mr. Beast control everything else with the weekend. Like, I mean, like, like even maybe uh, changing some stuff up on Saturday night, um, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, and and like and you know maybe you bring in Dude Perfect, right? Uh, like uh, to help with some of that stuff too. But I think they, the NBA is at a point where they need to start relying on some of these these bigger content creators to help them push their brand. I'm not I'm not one of these big time content creators, but <laughs> but so I can't give you any ideas of what I would do, but I know that those content creators will figure some stuff out. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. All it's right. a hot take, but yeah. you would definitely get a big I, audience. Then. 